I look tired as fuck today. I had a real shit night's sleep. Thank fuck I have the day off. I, so tomorrow is International Mental Health Day and I wanted to share my tips and tricks, my top most influential, I guess, tool that I have learned over my 10 years of therapy. So I get a lot of people reaching out to me, asking me for advice, asking me what worked for me. I also get people being like, hey, my friends went through this. Do you reckon, you know, you'd like want to talk to her? I get that a lot and I love that. Like that is so like inspiring for me to hear that me just opening up and being myself then inspires other people to want to get help or to help other people around them. I th actually think that that in itself is the whole like reason why we need to be having these conversations. Um, not only just during the month of October, but always. Same with the Are You Okay Day. So fucking important. We need to like normalize people saying this shit. And I feel nervous all the time when I do this. I feel nervous right now. This is my like 17th take of trying to film this. <laughs> like it's fucking hard putting yourself out there. But I just really want to share like Kaylee's fucking top number one tip and tr tips and tricks to being less fucking ratchet in your brain. So the number one most influential thing that I have ever learned in the last 10 years of my trauma therapy is the importance and power of boundaries. So I went to a mental health retreat a couple years ago when I was at my worst, I was self-harming, I was super fucking toxic. And the woman that ran it there, she said something to me. She said, Kaylee, you can lovingly tell people to fuck off. And like that statement in itself blew my mind. So I have had other people throughout my life help try to help me with boundaries, but sometimes it, sometimes it takes seven or eight times for you to get kind of get a message into your head. And when this woman put it into my language, cause she was swearing, said you can lovingly tell people to fuck off. I have never been more empowered in my fucking life. So if there are people in your life who are toxic and who drain the sh fucking life out of you and they gaslight the shit out of you and they make you feel like shit and they make you question yourself and fucking doubt everything you think you know about yourself, you can lovingly tell them to fuck off. It does not matter if they are your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad or your partner or your best friend that you've known for fucking 20 years. If someone is a succubus, you can tell them to fuck the fuck off in a nice way. You don't have to tell them to actually fuck off, but you can put those boundaries in place and tell them to fucking get away from you. And when I started to do that for myself, my entire fucking life changed because all of a sudden I actually had energy for myself. I actually had the time and the energy to take care of myself and be like, hey, what does Kaylee want? What does Kaylee need today? Instead of constantly allowing everyone around me to dictate what I was doing in my life. And that's a really common like symptom and theme in people who are traumatized is they don't know how to put boundaries in place because they were never role modeled boundaries appropriately. So when you learn to say no to other people, like it's like dominoes, everything else just really began to line up for me. And I had so much clarity and it would fucking change my life. But then on the other, on the other side of that, so when I learned to say no to other people, on the other side of that wall, I then had to learn to say no to myself. And that was so fucking hard for me because for me, being able to say no to myself meant that I needed to take responsibility over my actions and accountability over my healing. And that was, it took me like a solid three years to even understand that it was my responsibility to change my life. Like, because every, everything happened to me. All these bad fucking shit happened to me. And all of it was completely and entirely out of my control. And at the time, I thought that if I took responsibility over fixing that, healing that, it somehow made me responsible for everything that happened to me. But it didn't. It didn't. But that was really fucking hard for me to see that this, like, fucking ball of, like, 
like filth and poison like that I thought was filth and poison inside of me was my problem to fix and I fought a real fucking hard 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 time with that and a, like my ego and it was a really hard reality check for me was like hey actually clearly you're kind of a toxic piece of shit right now <laughs> and you're playing the victim and you need to take this shit seriously and you need to fucking do something about it and going away to that retreat was fucking hands down for me so if there's someone out there that you know or if you yourself or you feel like you're really fucking having a hard time with your mental health seek professional assistance like I have been through so many different types of therapists I have been through like I can't even count how many different psychologists everyone every one of them gave me different tools but for me that was that was my left brain that was me understanding my trauma but what I for me what I needed was the right brain I needed creativity I needed to tap into my subconsciousness I needed like meditation and mindfulness and I did theta I did reiki I did indigenous dream time healing I did all of these holistic therapies that helped me really tap into the fucking storage system in the back of my head that was telling me I was a fucking piece of shit and the world owed me something and that that's that's what really changed it for me. So all like all I can say is tell people to fuck off and fucking take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and go go get some professional help because there is a way out there and you can't you can find what works for you. In the wise words of Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other.